Hi guys, it's been a while since Homesick was like gone on hiatus and they're finally back. I did give my dog a bone and you might hear some chewing, so I'm sorry for some background noise. Let's go ahead and get started. Remember, I do have to blur this episode because of Naver's Webtoons policy. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's uh, available on webtoons.com. If you guys want to read this without any censorship, any blurs, no cat logo to cover this wonderful episode, I will upload all of that and have give you guys all early access on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. And yes, you have to pledge. Let's go and get it. Go ahead and get started. <laughs> Homesick. She's hungry. That can wait. We need to eat. Hey, eyes up here. Uh, relax. I may be starving, but at least I have self-control. Uh, but... Why are you suddenly stopped for? I almost broke my no- I see the problem now. I'll hoist you up first. When you get up there, I'll pass a cart to you, okay? Uh, st- uh. <sighs> Okay, I'm up. It's pretty stable up here. Pass the cart over. Uh? Raven, on your right. Ugh. Ugh. Here, take my knife. Smash. Oh, total badass. He just punched it in the face. <sighs> Be careful. <gasps> huh? Stop. I would say the same for you. You good? Yeah, thanks. Holy cow, you're heavy. It's time for you to train your arm muscles. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. So, you know a lot about mercs, right? Anything about them that I should keep in mind? Do you know why looking into Merc's eyes gets us killed? Because that's how they set their targets? Then, that raises another question. Why do they attack us? The Predators. That's why locking eyes with a Merc challenges them. That's right. But that only applies to humans. If you stare at a Merc, you're asserting dominance. Though, some may feel threatened and attack you regardless. Remember, they're aggressive and unpredictable. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Can I ask you something? Sure. Who were you before the outbreak? I served people for as long as I could remember. Following orders, fulfilling requests. So you had a job? A purpose, not a job. I see, but that's not my question. Who were you before you changed your name? Who was Gladiolus? A robot. I was called robotic because I was too fixated on finding a purpose without truly existing for myself. He was right. I was a tool for others, therefore I never once questioned what I wanted. Speaking to that boy opened my eyes, which is why I'm still searching for myself. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it's good enough. Thanks for sharing. What about you? Who were you, Rain Libert? I'm also trying to figure that out, funny enough. If you didn't know, the day you kidnapped us was three days before I lost my memories. I never understood how it happened, but Sam helped me through it. An infected am amnesiac? That's quite common. Really? 
It may have happened when your merc first possessed you, or even Deary. Another theory could be you may have suffered a severe head injury you healed, but were unable to recall things. Or maybe you have a hidden power, the ability to forget past events. There are countless possibilities. In the end, doesn't matter. Uh, does it matter? Tick tock. Huh? <sighs> Who's that? Kenny. Hey, it's time to wake up. But don't. That is so creepy. Ugh, I just miss reading Homesick so much. It always gives me the chills. All right, guys. Oh my gosh. How did y'all feel about this episode? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoy my, my way of reading and reacting to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.